Hello everyone and welcome back to playing as House Lannister and Crusader Kings 2 a Game of Thrones mod. I am the Noob Crusader King. So, in the last episode we managed to win by some miracle, a trial by combat. I couldn't believe it. Um, King Stannis is just. I've just noticed he changed his succession laws in the last episode. Um, which means that this guy is now the heir. His younger son who is also in charge of the Stormlands. Interesting. We could plot to kill him. But I don't really know what that would benefit us. I mean, I guess it would probably weaken House uh, Baratheon a tiny bit. But then this guy would be the heir. Who seems like he has a fairly strong claim. I don't know. I'm just going to continue for now. We're no, no plotting. We're kind of just waiting for Maria to come of age. Our lovely young strong wife. Who can hopefully bear us some strong kids. And then we might be in a position where we can do some war. We can start a faction... And we can become the House Lannister on the Iron Throne. That reminds me, just while we're waiting for this to continue. Hold on. We can marry. Maria Waters. Boom. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Let the people respect the wealth. New important decisions available. Host a wedding feast. Great idea. Um, hold on. We need to educate her. Uh, I think I might just send her back to Stannis. Because that's who she was being educated by before. And I don't want to cock up her education any further. Because primarily I care about education. You won't educate her. Why not? Because you hate me. Well, you were educating her before. Um... I, I want. I was, she was being raised for combat. Who should we educate you with then? I guess we'll educate you in our own court. Uh, it looks like probably I am the best option. I'll educate my own wife. How weird. Um, so we're hosting a wedding feast. The thing that I was going to do, if I hit continue, I was going to look at... Um, ooh, I can invite a claimant to my court. Come to my court. Um, who are you? You're another bastard son of Robert, and you're a really good commander. And wow, you're a very useful person to have in my court. Thank you very much for being around. Oh, another Durin? Who are you? You're son of Prince Aegon. <gasps> Durin Hill. I remember you, young kid. You have a weak claim on Dawn. Interesting. No, but what I was actually looking at was... What is the situation with um, some of the Targaryens that were left alive? If I look at Ares. Um, hold on. He was married to Riella. She died eventually. She died. Daenerys was murdered. And Viserys died, who committed suicide. Jesus Christ. The Targaryens had a sad ending to their dynasty. There's only one guy left, it appears. And that is Durin Hill. A Targaryen bastard. A sad ending to the Targaryen dynasty. Very sad. But we've got this guy in our... But you're already married. Slightly annoying, but we could have you killed. Um, I will spend lavishly to show our house's power. I shall. Um, I send all the invitations around. Fuck off, Stannis. If you don't want to come, what are you doing? No, I just got you here, you... Come back into my court. You can't just leave. Now he's coming back to me. Look at this moron. I want to see what Mario grows up to look like. Um, it shall be a glorious ceremony. Welcome to the wedding, everyone. Welcome to the wedding. Whilst I marry this 14-year-old who's half my age. For political reasons, everyone. Because political marriage is okay. New commander on the wall... And it's not my dad, but he is a good character. Hotha Stout. Interesting. Fine tradition. Let's have sex with a 14-year-old. Under my... Oh, cool. She's now a bit more good at fighting. Nice to see. Nice to see, Maria. You are fighting. You are being educated by the greatest fighter in the world, realm who won that trial by combat. I had great fun. And so did everybody. It was a lovely wedding. It was a lovely wedding. We'll join the war. I'm not going to send any troops, but I just kind of feel like it's my duty. Um, because I'm sure the North will handle it. 
Come on, Mario. You're in my court. You should be educated. Um, we had we had Sir Humphrey in our court. Mira Sand. Do you want to die? I think you do. I think you want to die. I kind of feel like. He needs. She needs. To, uh, Humphrey Waters needs to be married to a Lannister. <gasps> Maria's pregnant. Amazing. Just what we needed. Come join the plot to murder on the wife of our new courtier. Do you think we need anyone else? If you want a bit of money, nope. I might. I'm just doing. No. Okay. We don't need anyone else. I don't want to pay that much. Go away. We'll carry on continuing. Um. Due to the Grand Tournament... Okay. I didn't... Realise I was hosting a tournament. But okay. Um, okay, we've worked out how we're going to kill... Um, Humphrey Waters' wife by blowing her up. Fantastic. Um, there is no trace of my... Complicity... Lovely. What that worked an absolute treat. Do you want to marry a Lannister? I think you do. Arrange marriage. Um We have no Lannisters here right now. Humphrey. And I don't really want to marry you to anyone who's gonna get a claim on the throne, and you are of House Baratheon. Hmm. I want to keep you around. I think I'm gonna uh, perhaps a betrothal. Are there any Lannister kids available, Humphrey? A Frey. A Frey. Yeah, whatever. You can marry a Frey. Have fun. Do whatever you want, son of Robert Baratheon. Oh, so she's now a skilled fighter. Am I even a skilled fighter? No. My wife is now a better fighter than me. Cool. <laughs> Looks like we're getting some good soldiers in our court, which actually is a big, a big, big thing. Spymaster, um, Ravella Frey. We like having some Freys in our court. Um, hold on. Do you want to join my court? He is a formidable fighter. Oh, but he's ugly. No, thank you. Um, so Stannis has just inherited the Stormlands. Has his son died? His son died. His son was murdered. We were considering murdering him and somebody did it for us. So your heir is now Prince Jerrion. Hmm. Do you want to die? No, he doesn't want to die. That's okay. That's okay. We're kind of just wait. Come on, Mario. Come of age. I'm just going to save because I always get nervous when of the game crashing because my CK2 of Game of Thrones just loves to crash. He just loves it, loves it, loves it. Right. Betrothed can marry. Who's that? Is that Humphrey and Euphrosyne Frey? I'm not... Yeah, I don't have to marry matrilineally. I, I don't really care. I just kind of wanted him in my court because of his martial skill. Um, a daughter was born to Sir Lance... Oh, hello! Finally, Lance had a child. They finally have an heir. And she's a Lannister. And her, and she's going to have a strong claim on the Stormlands. I think she should. Whoever Stannis chooses to give it to. Good. That was the only reason why I didn't want to press her claim on the Stormlands. Because they didn't have an heir. But now they have an heir. That is really good. Um, oh, she's beautiful. Um, yeah, of course we want her to be brave. She's brave as well. My wife. No! Okay, so just as I was saying how I was really nervous about the game crashing. Of course, the game crashes. We missed the last couple of months. Uh, my wife's not brave anymore, but she's still pregnant. She's still a skilled fighter. The crucial things are kind of still happening. We need to marry the Frey and the Baratheon again. That's all okay. We're going to continue. We'll try recording this again. I'm so, this is one thing that annoys me about CK2. Just the amount of crashes that happen. King Stannis is fit to name this guy the Prince of Dawn. Okay, that's a big call right there. And a son was born. But he's a hunchback. God damn it. That's fine. Okay, that's absolutely fine. 
That's crucial because Roel, Baratheon, is the one that we need, we want to have a claim on the Stormland. So this is a Lannister. Tyen Lannister is now the Hunchback, annoyingly, is going to be... Um, what? Hold on. Oh, he's declared another war against me. He's declared another bloody war. Jesus Christ, this is my wife comes of age. Ugh. I don't know if we're going to be able to win that trial by combat again. But we're a duelist now. Maybe my wife could fight it for me. Um, maybe we could have Humphrey Baratheon fight for me. What's his duel skill? 11 point. Mm, it's not much better. Not much better at all. We've got to... I'm going to use the same exact tactic, but this time I'm going to take it a lot slower in trying to win this war. We've got 34k men. Ah, that is a problem because... Okay. If we can just get all our men there as quickly as possible. Um, hold on. I don't want to... It's not his fault. I don't want to execute him. It's not his fault. We like him because he can lead troops. We need to get everybody to meet up as quickly as we can. Bum rush King's Landing and probably assault it. That is the only real chance I think we have. Because the AI is stupid. And because... We had a son! But he's slow! What a fucking disaster! No! Oh no! No! More on Lannister! Oh, damn it! A wife had a son, but he is slow. He didn't gain the strong trait. Of course, more on Lannister. Of course, more on. My roots may be a Stormlander. Yes. Westermen are superior. Ah, shit. I wasn't concentrating. We're losing men. God damn it. Concentrate more. I can't believe our son is slow. <sighs> okay, the Battle of Pain Hall. When are you getting there? The 8th of July? And the 11th of June. Okay, we can we can just about deal with that. 23rd of June. Okay, we need to put our organizer here. 18th. Okay, we're just about to escape that army. That's a crucial little little thing that happened there. Okay, we need to slow this right down. The only way we're going to be able to win this is if we can just evade combat. We're going to exploit the AI to hell. Um, that's the only way I can see us winning this. Okay. All right. Come on, get there, get there, get there, get there. Come on, hurry up. I don't even know why we were waiting for that. 34k men. Humphrey in the middle. Duran on the right. And we have a siege leader. Great. Benedict. Okay, so they're going to River Spring, I guess. We just have to evade combat at all costs. Um... Okay, come here, I guess. Have to get to King's Landing and evade all combat. Okay, we got there. Try and do that. Take it nice and slow. Evade all combat. That's the only way we're going to be able to win this. And it's very unlikely that we're going to win. Samuel Tarly! Nice to see you joining our war. I actually really feel like killing my son. I know he's slow. Our CK2 makes me feel like Lord Moron of the Westerlands. Oh, God. Why did I call him that? I'm such a bad person. Uh, maybe killing my son is the right thing to do. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we can't kill our son, though. Oh, God. Because he's going to be our heir. 
All right, we've land. We've got to King's Landing somehow. The only thing that we can do to try and win this war is kidnap Sanus' family. <sighs> Siege it down, boys. Siege it down. Okay, they're coming. It looks like they're not coming because they're stupid. They see a big stack like this and they don't want to fight it. There's no. We can't assault because we'll lose, and they're just carpet sieging us. We need to send our family, my family, into hiding. Um, we have no option for that. Okay, so hope, hopefully we won't be kidnapped. Uh, siege it down. Siege it down. I don't want to assault just yet. But we are quickly running out of time. I'm just going to... Yeah, we're on speed 4 anyway. Okay, just keep on sieging it down. Um... Cool, she got two diplomacy. She's a... Jesus Christ, look at her. She's great. Flanker. Oh, my wife. My wife, what a legend. We've raised her well. Raised her really, really well. I think we could get attacked soon. Um, Well done for increasing the opinion with the High Septon. Yup, I think our war's over, guys. Um... Whatever. I think our war's over. We've lost Brave. Brilliant. An offer of peace. A white peace! What a moron! What a full-on moron! I can't believe it! <laughs> yeah, we only lose 200 men. I can't believe we've got away with it again. I can't believe we have a slow son, though. Lord Moron. Damn it. Why does he have to be slow? Why does he have to be slow? Look at all the crown loyalists. Start a faction. Just... Why can't we start for faction for... God damn... Ugh. Why can't we start a faction for our wife? Oh, goodness me. I can't believe we managed to get away with that again. Stannis still doesn't want to die. Why did he offer us a white piece? Oh god, CKT, you gotta love the glitches sometimes. Um, drink less wine. We lost. I can't believe we lost Brave. We're slowly and slowly becoming a worse and worse character. We lost Charitable and then we lost Brave. But our wife is a damn good character as well. But I st I'm just, I'm just stunned. We've got a truce with him as well for ten years. Oh, that's that is an absolute gorgeous occurrence. I, I cannot believe. I, mean, I need to save just in case it crashes. I don't want to lose that. A truce with Stannis for ten years. Hopefully, he'll be dead by then. We're holding on to the Westerlands. Just about, guys. We are just lucking our way through this series right now. We need... I can't, but we have a slow sun. But we have a slow sun. Probably the future king of the Iron Throne. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> um, I'll spend lavishly on food to celebrate... Our, I'm going to call that a win. A win of the war. That is a goddamn win. We could change our inheritance laws. Or can we? Um, I'd love to have an elective monarchy. But no, but we have to have the king have a nice opinion of us. But obviously that's not going to happen. What's your opinion? Ah! Well, hopefully your son, when he becomes king... Well, like us. You need to hurry up and die, Stannis. That's what you need to do. Um, all the guests have arrived, making our vassals like us. You don't have anything nice to say. Just shut up. Dick. I had great fun, and so did everyone else. Such a good ruler. So proud of him. He is the... We have a claim. Oh, because... What's happening with Jamie? Why do you have a strong claim on the Night's Watch? What does that even mean? 
Why do you have a minus 12 dual skill multiplier? Because you're blind from age. How sad. My daddy's blind. That's heartbreaking. I think this is a good time to end the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a weird last couple of episodes. We've got away with some incredible stuff. The worst part about it, though, is Lord Moore on Lannister. He's slow. God damn it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.